Have you ever been captivated by those dynamic animated travel maps on popular YouTube channels like Ubi and Niu, Dhruvrati? Ever wondered how your favorite travel YouTubers create those mesmerizing moving map animation videos that transport you around the world? What if you could do the same, right from your home, and all in under 10 minutes? Stick around as I unveil the secrets to crafting stunning travel map animations inspiration in motion graphics using Canva, even if you're not a pro designer. This is all about map animation for beginners. Did you know that those eye-catching travel animations you've seen on top YouTube channels typically come from complex software like Adobe After Effects? But what if there's an easier way? Today, in this creative travel map tutorial, I'm excited to share two simple methods to create stunning map animations using Canva, no complicated software needed. And yes, you can achieve this in just 15 minutes. Ready to see how it's done? How to animate a travel map without Adobe After Effects in CapCut. Let's dive into Canva and start crafting your own animated maps. Let's get started. First things first, head over to canva.com and click on Create a Design. Choose the size for your project by selecting a normal video, which is a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, the standard size for a YouTube video. You'll see a blank canvas appear on your screen. To kickstart our travel map animation, let's add a world map to this canvas. Whether you want to highlight a global journey or zoom into specific countries, starting with a world map sets the stage for your story. Let's add that map now and get our adventure underway. Next, let's get the world map that will serve as the foundation of our animation. You can download a world that map image from any resource you trust or directly find one in Canva. To do this, navigate to the Elements tab in the sidebar, type World Map in the search bar, and switch to the Photos tab. Here, Canva offers a variety of world map styles. Browse through the selection to find one that fits the theme of your animation. Choose your favorite to bring your travel story to life visually. Let's pick a map and move on to the next exciting step in our animation journey. Once you've picked your preferred world map from Canva's selection, Go ahead and add it to your design. Next, we'll scale this travel map graphics to fit perfectly on our canvas. Adjust the corners of the map image to stretch and fill the entire page, ensuring it covers the canvas fully, just as you can see here. Now, think about the specific locations you want to highlight in your animation. Carefully zoom and adjust the map's position so these two key spots are visible and appropriately centered. This setup is crucial as it lays the groundwork for the animated journey we're about to create between these locations. Let's get this map position just right, and then we'll move on to animating our travel route. Make sure both of the destinations you want to highlight are clearly visible on the map. This will likely require some fine-tuning of the zoom and positioning. For instance, if the animation is to illustrate a journey from Australia to the United Kingdom, you need to adjust the map so that both continents are well represented and easily visible on your canvas. Absolutely! Just as you'd adjust the map for visibility between Australia and the United Kingdom, you'll do the same for any other countries or cities you want to showcase, like France and Canada. It's important that both locations are positioned clearly on your screen. This ensures that when the animation plays, viewers can easily follow the path from one point to another, enhancing their understanding and engagement with your video. I trust you now have a good grasp on how to zoom in and position the map. In this segment, I will demonstrate an animation that covers the distance between Australia and the United Kingdom. Having identified their locations on the map, I will proceed to replicate this animation in my design. The map is now zoomed in position to show Australia and the United Kingdom. To enhance this visualization, please navigate to the sidebar, click on Elements, then Graphics, and select any GPS graphics that suit your needs. If you find this suitable and wish to incorporate it into your design at the two locations where we are creating animations, we begin by positioning it in Australia. The map I am using is a standard world map, which displays cities and countries. If you prefer, you can opt for a world with countries and capitals for clearer and more visible details. Once the GPS graphic is set on our first location, we will duplicate it for the second location. We have now positioned the graphic in the United Kingdom, as you can see. Both graphics are perfectly set. Next, navigate to the sidebar, click on text, and then on add text to bring up a text box. Here, you will type in dashes, like so. 
adjust the color as needed to suit your design. You will create a line with these dashes, extending it to match the distance between the two GPS graphics. Ensure that the line or graphic is properly aligned in position to accurately represent the distance. Notice the small rotate option located at the bottom of the interface. Utilize this feature to correctly align the line between the two GPS graphics. Feel free to adjust it by rotating either upwards or downwards until it is properly positioned between the two points. Now, you should see that the line is straight and set between the two locations. However, if the route you need to depict is winding or deviates from a straight path, adjustments will need to be made to accurately represent this on your map. In scenarios where the path isn't straight, you'll need to modify the line to reflect a curved route. Click on the line, then navigate to the effects section above. Here, you will find an option for curve shape. Select this to adjust the curvature of the line. In this menu, you can customize the degree of the curve based on your preferences, determine how much and what type of curve you want, and adjust the line accordingly to ensure it connects the two locations properly. If necessary, you can add more dashes to ensure the length adequately covers the distance between the two points. Once the line is appropriately set up, and if you wish to enhance its visual appeal, you can also add an animation to this line. This adds dynamic movement, bringing your map visualization to life. Next, to add an animation to the line, click on it and then select the Animate option located above. From there, choose the Wipe Animation Style. You have the flexibility to adjust the speed of the animation to suit your preferences. This animation will trigger only on entry, and you can select the direction of the animation, whether from right to left or left to right, according to your choice. As you can see, this animation will now be included. Following the animation setup, we'll need to adjust the position of the line. Currently, it may appear over the top of the GPS graphics, but we'll arrange it by sending it to the back. This adjustment ensures that all elements are visually coherent and the GPS graphics remain prominently displayed. To adjust the layering of the elements, click on the line, then navigate to position followed by layers. From there, move the line just beneath the two GPS graphics, ensuring it does not overlap them visually. Next, we will also animate the two GPS graphics. Click on each graphic and add a pop animation to both. Set these animations to trigger on enter and adjust the speed to your preference, ensuring a smooth visual effect. Now, all the animations have been added. However, currently, all graphics and animations activate simultaneously, which might not be the desired effect. To address this, we'll need to stagger their timings so that they do not all appear at once. To fine-tune the timing of each element, we'll start with the animation that begins in Australia. First, click on the Australian GPS graphic to adjust its timing. Set it to activate a couple of seconds after the animation starts, there's no need to adjust the ending time for this graphic. Next, select the line animation. Its start time should be set to trigger just after the first GPS graphic appears, establishing a clear sequence. Again, there's no need to adjust the ending time for the line. Finally, adjust the timing for the second GPS graphic, which represents the United Kingdom. Click on this graphic and set its start time to coincide with the moment the line animation reaches its endpoint. Adjust the starting point accordingly. With these adjustments, the sequence should now flow smoothly, the first GPS graphic appears, followed by the line, and then the second GPS graphic activates when the line reaches its destination. Everything is now perfectly set up for a professional and engaging presentation. The timing is now perfectly calibrated, and the animation is ready to go. You have the option to further customize it by adding city names or other details, feel free to tailor it to your needs. Let me know in the comments how this setup worked for you and if you made any additional modifications. Now that our first animation style is complete, let's move on to creating the second animation style. We'll begin by heading back to Canva. Once there, click on Create a Design and then select Normal Video. Open a blank canvas to start afresh. Next, navigate to Elements in the sidebar and search for World Map with Countries and select any relevant photos you'd like to use. This will set the stage for our next animation sequence. Once you select an image, you'll notice a variety of options available. I am using Canva Pro, which gives me access to numerous premium elements. 
If you find that you're limited in options because you don't have Canva Pro, there's a simple solution. You can purchase access for under $2 from various sellers online, allowing you to enhance your designs with more professional and diverse elements. This small investment can significantly broaden your creative capabilities, making it a worthwhile consideration if you frequently engage in design work. Having chosen and added the map to my design, it now automatically fills the entire page, as you can see. If you're interested in focusing on a specific country and highlighting it, the first step is to duplicate the current page. This allows you to maintain the original while working on a new version without altering the initial setup. To do this, click on the existing page to select it, then make a duplicate page. This adds another page to your design, as you can see. Next, navigate to the Elements section in the sidebar and search for the country you wish to discuss. This method ensures that each country of interest can be individually highlighted and discussed without cluttering your main map display. For instance, let's say you want to highlight Australia. On the duplicated page, you'll need to adjust the zoom on the map so that Australia is clearly visible and prominently displayed. This makes it easier to focus on and discuss the specific features of Australia without distractions from other regions. Once you've zoomed in appropriately, the next step is to add a graphic of Australia. Search for shape graphics that represent the country. When you find the right graphic, you'll need to overlay it directly onto the corresponding area on the map. Adjust the graphic so that it matches the shape and size of Australia on the map precisely. I have now adjusted this graphic accurately on the map, ensuring that it aligns perfectly with the outlines of Australia. This helps in visually distinguishing Australia and makes any specific discussions about the country more engaging and informative. To add a transition between images, first, select the Match and Move transition. Increase the transition's duration to its maximum, as demonstrated here. Next, a third image will be introduced like so. Now, return to the second image and select the country graphic. Navigate to the transparency option located above and set the transparency to zero, as you can see here. Following this, between the second and third images, insert a match and move transition to seamlessly blend the two together. Continue by setting the duration of this transition to the maximum once more. Next, navigate back to the third image, click to duplicate it, and a fourth image will be automatically added in this manner. On this fourth image, select the country graphic once again. This time, enlarge and reposition the graphic slightly to the side to better fit your layout. Finally, we will change the color of this graphic to enhance its appearance. To adjust the color, click on the color option located above. Choose the color picker tool and hover it over the map. The color of the graphic will then precisely match the map's color, as demonstrated. However, the similarity between the background and the graphic's color may make this change difficult to notice. To address this, click on the background image, the map, and then access the transparency setting. Reduce the transparency to zero, this will distinctly highlight the graphic against its background. Next, click again to duplicate the page, this will create a fifth page. Here, reposition the graphic slightly to the left for better alignment. Return to the fourth page and click on the text in the sidebar, then hit the Add button to proceed. After clicking, a text box will appear. Type in the name of the country, in this instance, it's Australia. Then, adjust the text size and font to meet your requirements. Position this text on the left side, and match its color to that of the graphic. Next, copy the text as it is. Then, reduce the text's transparency to zero, making it fully transparent for now. Proceed to the fifth page and paste the text there. Now, align the text so that it runs parallel to the right side of the graphic, as shown in the example. The text size is slightly larger, but it suits your needs perfectly. Next, apply the match and move transition between all the pages, setting the duration to its maximum, as previously discussed. Now, navigate back to the third page and select the background image, which features the map. Click on Edit Photo located above. Here, you will find the Blur Effect option. Click on it, and then in the All Image settings, adjust the intensity of the blur to around 16, as you can see. Next, go back to the first page and click on the Animate option located at the top to access the page animation settings. Here, select the tectonic animation but set its intensity to zero. 
You might notice that a small portion of your page appears cut off, revealing a white background. To rectify this, slightly zoom in on the map and adjust its position so that it fully covers the page, as demonstrated. This animation is now fully set up and ready to go. I'll show it to you by playing it in just a moment. Please feel free to leave a comment and share your feedback if you liked it. If you have any questions or issues regarding the tutorial or animation, do not hesitate to comment or direct message me. Now, let's play the map animation video. If you're curious about convert free audio to video using AI Best Free Text to Video AI Generator, Moisey AI click on the video link on the left. If you're interested in discovering create drone style videos for free how to use Google Earth Studio Animation Video Tutorial click on the video link on the right thank you for being part of this journey happy Learnify AI goodbye.